Now, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It, it looks something like this. Today I will tell you what I like and what I don't like about Rice Leisure Bike. I'm still happy with my purchase. You can see like one of the things I don't like about... Let's talk about what I don't like about it first. Um, I don't like the sound when it's the bike start, you know? Like the motor is like squeezing and makes like uh, a little noise this is what i want this is what i want to show you now see like that right um so because i have no idea about why this motor is doing like this i talked to rise bike and they told me this is normal and you know, it's um, it's a big motor, it's like 750. It's not the biggest, of course, but I mean, it's more than 500, right? So they told me this is normal, especially when um, when the motor like starts, it will do like this squeezing sound. But um, does it affect the performance? No, it doesn't. So I will... I would say it's okay, but I was hoping that there's no noise uh, when I start the bike. Um, if we try even to like lower, see, to number one, see, when I try to number one and try to be like slow, this is the sound I'm talking about, you know. This is for me as like, you know, I want things to be perfect, but this is like kind of unperfection for me, so for sure I would not be happy with that. If we make the level to two or three, realize the sound is almost disappeared. But what about if I want to get level one and I still want to maintain like slow speed? I get this, you know, this uh, noise. Hopefully, Rise, they can have something for this. I'm not sure, but for what they told me, they told me this is normal. Hmm, I, I don't know. It can be normal, but it's not normal in my book, <laughs> you know? So this is something I really hoping that they can find something for it. Uh, I also want to know if there is um, any other like um, customers they have this bike if you have this bike and you can tell me if this is normal in your bike because if all the bikes like this it means yeah it can convince me this is normal but um, if this is only a few bikes it means that there's something wrong with the, the motor or something so I was one thing also I don't like about this bike is the handlebar. Uh, the handlebar is very thin, which I don't like. It's not easy to find something fit or mount system to fit this very, um, very um, small diameter. So this is something really I, I was hoping that the, the bar is thicker. Also something, the third thing I don't like about this bike, it's a bit heavy. So if you, like, I'm not sure about if, if this is like going to fit for senior guy or something. So it's a bit heavy, so you have to, you have to know how to handle it, especially if it's, if you are not riding the bike. Because the frame, as you can see, the frame is almost... No, it's not. 
the frame is almost like you know a thick frame so you have to have some strength to to move this bike or to carry it or something the four point i don't like about this is you know mobility so if you are thinking about taking this bike with you in the car you have to have a good um, mounting system to your car because it's a heavy bike and you have to you have to have a good mount system to handle the weight of this bike for sure number five number five so in case I don't like to have the rack, right? So if you, if you see here the rack, the um, rear rack, if I don't want to have the rear rack for some reason, maybe I like the look of naked bike or something, the light here is attached to the, uh, the rear rack. There is no option here to put it on on the seat or something so this is something um, I saw it in red bike or some other bikes as well but this is good to to have some option to relocate this one here if I don't want this system or this rack system here so this is something really I wish like the last one the six uh, six um, point I don't like about this uh, bike is the battery so I wish that they offer at the time when I purchased this bike they offer option to replace the, the battery with 20 AH or something this is 16 and we have the bullet so bullet we have is uh, about uh, it's a very small bike but we have like um, 17 AH battery. This one is 16, so I'm assuming the bullet it has um, 500 watt motor. This one it has 750. Bigger frame, you know. So I was. It makes sense to get the leisure with at least 17 or 19 or 20. So it will be really better than this give you more mileage and give you more kilometers okay uh, let's go for what i like about this bike i like the style so the style of this bike is really very good i like the fat tire i like the mus muscular look of this bike so if you look about the look, I'll give it uh, probably 10 of 10. Uh, number two I like about this bike is the um, the pedal assistant. It's very responding and very nice. And uh, once you start pedaling, it will. will help you right away so you don't have to wait even a few seconds it just kick right away when you start to pedaling one of the things also you can use especially when you start to, to ride the bike is use the throttle so if you are uphill or something and you are in stop position you can just start with the throttle it will keep you uh, keep you going right Another thing I like about this bike also is the um, suspension. So it has front suspension only, which is not bad. And the good thing about it, you can lock your suspension. If you are, for example, you are in smooth road or something, you can lock it so you will have more efficient bike. But you can also, if you have a pumpy road or something, you can also unlock the suspension. So it will be up and down. Only also the travel space, you can control it from here, from the left side. Uh, there is a nice feature also here about uh, the, um, the system here. 
So basically, you can lock your system with password or passcode. I don't think there is any other bike they have this feature, but this one, if, for example, of course, it will not protect your bike from somebody steal it. You, anybody can, for sure, if you don't lock it, uh, with lock mechanism, you have to, you know, to, you can lock your system by, you know, by a P, a passcode, which is preventing them from, you know, using the motor or using the power in this bike. So, for example, if, if I'm, if I'm doing this one, if it will shut down the system, okay, somebody come and I'm parking my, my bike and I, somebody come and try to steal my bike, press the power button, it will ask for password like this, four digits. So you can basically lock your passcode from your own choice and you can set up this password from the, um, uh, the control panel here. Another feature I like about this bike is cruise control. So basically, when you, when you have the throttle here, if you are not using the pedal and you want to use the throttle and you want to have a cruise control, basically it's just like it will lock the speed or it will lock the, you know, the, the bike in certain speed. Of course, it's not advanced. It will not, of course, be like, you know, advanced cruise control. It will just keep the bike, you know, going without need to press this throttle down so it will you just press it and the way you activate it there is two um two steps you have to activate one is you have to go through the setup this is one time setup and you have to go to the advanced um setting here it's very well explained explained on on the on the manual they send it with the bike you can go to the settings and advanced settings and you can uh, um, activate the, 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 um, the cruise control. Once it's activated, if you go and you are driving and you press this throttle for about probably a minute or something, it will uh, the, um, the bike and keep it moving and you can uh, remove your thumbnail from, from the throttle and the bike will keep continue and, um, and running. Uh, and the way you deactivate this one, if you just um, brake a little bit, just to break the, uh, press the brake, it will just just shut the uh, the cruise control off, which is which is really neat for for a for a bicycle ride. Uh, one thing also I forgot to mention about uh, the um, the things I don't like about this bike is the um, space here. So. For me, if I want to put my bottle or something, bottle of water, if I put it here and if I go to muddy roads or something, it will be, you know, dirty, the, my bottle. Or if I put anything here, right? Uh, I'm planning to put like um, a toolbox here just to, to keep it in case I need it. But um, this space also, which is here, is very, very small space. Like if you, if you want to... Um, uh, mount to the uh, bottle here it would be very small space and I one of the things between the battery and you know the frame the space is very very small but this is not a big deal I mean you can if you have like something like this you can still put your stuff in, in the bag and in the rear but still if this little bit higher it will give like you know room to to add something like water bottle it would be easy to put it in I hate this sound. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any question about uh, this bike, just uh, put your question in the comment. I can reply to you as soon as possible. And please don't forget to subscribe and share. And have a good day and stay safe. Okay, thank you. Bye.